What is up, you two? My name is Terry. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today we'll be looking at the Nike Dunk Low UNLV and how I like to style them on feet. In this video, I won't be going full in depth on the dunks. If you would like to know more about the 2021 dunks, make sure to check out the video up here where I gave my honest opinions on these new release dunks. Though the video was mainly focusing on the Dunk High Fast Grey, the material and quality still applies to these. Okay, now let's take a look at the Nike Dunk Low UNLV. Nike Dunks is one of the classic basketball sneakers that were released back in the 80s. The UNLV colorway was one of the OG colors to be featured as part of the Be True to Your School campaign. The colors of the UNLV represents the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. If you would like to know more about the Dunks, I will recommend you to watch the story of Dunk by Nike on YouTube. It is a mini documentary that talks about the history of the Dunk. Since the Dunks is more of a classic timeless type of sneakers, I like to pair it with clothing that give more of a casual everyday vibe. I wouldn't recommend wearing these for more formal occasions. For the first outfit, I'm wearing an oversized white t-shirt by H&M. It is actually called the heavyweight t-shirt. It has a boxy cut, though the material is not that great. The price is very affordable. It comes around at $15 Australian dollars. For the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of regular wash jeans. If you like to add more texture to this, I recommend to put on an unbuttoned shirt as well. This gives off the guy next door vibe makes you feel a lot more approachable. Since the shoes are already in red, I don't want to have too much bright colors on my body, otherwise it will take away the spotlights from the shoes. This is one of the most versatile style you can have. Basically anyone can rock this without screwing it up. Like you can't go wrong with a white t-shirt and jeans, and it is easily accessible. You can basically grab any white t-shirts or jeans from anywhere. And since your outfit is very simple, the shoe really stands out from the crowd. The next outfit we have here is an oversized sweater pairing with the shorts. I mean, how can you not wear these with shorts? This look is good when you're feeling super chill or going to a friend's house. I like wearing grey on top as it matches with the shoes, but you can wear other colours too but I suggest to go with a darker neutral tone so you don't clash with the colors. This oversized sweater is also purchased from H&M. It costs, I think it was $20 Australian dollars. Shorts, you can go either sports shorts or jersey shorts. In this video, I'm wearing the jersey shorts from H&M. For the socks, I tend to wear boat socks rather than crew socks since I have short legs. Boat socks can give you an illusion that you have longer legs in my opinion. If you would like to add some accessories, I'd totally go with a hat, whether it's that hat or fitted. It's all up to your own preference. The third outfit, last but not least, I'll be wearing the hoodie with trackies. This outfit is also very versatile as you can wear it for outdoor or sporting activities as well as normal daily casual wear. The top of wearing is the red champion reverse weave hoodie with the white track pants. For this outfit, I wanted to do more of a color matching to represent the team colors. After all, this is the sporty look, we want the others to know which team we are supporting. I like to match the crew socks with the trackies and pull them up a tiny bit to emphasize the kicks. This is especially great when you have elastic bands around the ankle. Again, you can rock a hat for the complete look. And there you have it, three different looks on how to style your dunks. What are your thoughts on the outfit? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button. I make weekly videos on sneakers and styling tips. And finally, thank you for watching.